everybody. I bought this weight distributing hitch from Harbor Freight because I've got a little bit more weight in my conversion than I thought I would. Not much. The truck still sits level, but I think to be on the safe side, I'm going to go with this. And uh, also had bought a Hallmaster sway bar as well. And we'll put that on later. But uh, this hitch, it comes with everything you need. But the one problem I'm going to have is the V tongue on my V nose is short. So these torsion bars are going to be too long for these connector pieces. Because these connector pieces fit over the top of the tongue and it doesn't slide back far enough because the back part here hits the hits the front of the trailer. Now E Trailers sells a solution to this. And what that is, is a bracket minus this top part here. And it's just square and it bolts to the side of your trailer. Now this one fits over the top. As you can see this other one, they don't give you bolts for that. They don't recommend putting bolts in there. They just have this to snug it after your chains are on and I don't know I'm not really comfortable with that so what I'm gonna do instead of buying the brackets for 75 bucks or whatever they are I'm going to fabricate these I'm gonna cut that top portion off that fits over the top of the tongue and I'll just have a flat bracket that'll slide back at least three to four more inches and then that way I'll have enough room for the chain to come down vertically and fit into the torsion bar Another suggestion I heard was to cut the torsion bars shorter, but now I don't want to do that. This way I'm getting, I'm getting more of the tongue and uh, it'll be a little better set off. So we'll take a walk out to my trailer and you'll see what I'm talking about. I picked the middle of the day to do this in uh, sunny Florida, but it's okay. As you can see, I don't have much sag at all. It's pretty much almost level, but um, this is gonna be a good idea. And just in case anyone's knowing, uh, anyone's wondering, yeah, I think you've seen my full build uh, videos. And a lot of people asking how much weight I've added since it's all wood inside. Um, my tongue weight, if you can see, is just 500 pounds maybe a little bit over and uh this uh weight distribution kit will will lessen that quite a bit so here's what i'm talking about it just fits over like this and then it hits the side of the trailer so this from the torsion bar to this point here it's it's too short it's at least two inches too short so what i'm going to do as i said i'm going to cut that and just have a flat bracket and it'll slide back to this point here where I measured will give me at least an inch or more um, to play with. So to give you an idea what I'm talking about, if I turn this upside down, you can see how far back it slides from, oh, let me get this, from this point here, back over here. So once I cut this top part off, it'll fit flush against here. And just like the, uh, the solution brackets they sell, um, I think it'll work. And what I'm gonna do, they already have two holes here. I'm probably gonna drill a couple holes up on top. So I'll have at least four bolts going in there. You know, I could probably just get away with two. Um, and the uh, the, uh, the solution brackets they sell on each trailer, they just have two as well. So we'll see how I'm gonna go. But I think that's gonna work out for me. That way I can utilize these existing brackets pull that chain up and I think it's going to work out so um, let me do some fabricating cutting it um, and then uh, I'll continue this video later thanks okay here's the finished product it worked out a little bit better than I thought like I said I cut the tops off of those uh, connectors used to fit over the top here 
And as I said in my previous video, I couldn't get far enough back. So I cut the tops off and uh, leveled them, uh, straightened them out and uh, bolted them both on just the way uh, the uh, modified uh, uh, hanger uh, adapters that they sell on online. Saved myself 75 bucks plus shipping, but hey, uh, didn't take that long. And uh, it seemed to work out real well. Also installed the uh, weight distribution hitch. Then here's the other side. I was a little bit concerned about uh, drilling through the, the tongue, but the uh, replacement ones do the same. And uh, also uh, I uh, did some research through the manufacturer and um, since it's a steel tongue, it's not gonna bother it at all. Um, I still may get it tack welded on each side, but uh, for now, I think this is going to be good. I just wanted to see how they work out. Um, they leveled out. Yeah, I had some, I had some sag in the back of my truck. As you can see, it leveled it out real nice. You know, I could either actually, you know, tighten them up a little bit more, bring up the rear end of the truck, but um, it, it's level right now. So, and uh, the trailer, as you can see, is level as well. So, um, yeah, it worked out a little bit better than I thought it would. You just have to have some pretty good drill bits because that's uh, some hardened steel down there. Next thing I'm going to do is put on the, the sway bar. I got one of those, and that um, yeah, should be good to go. Thanks a lot for watching.